This weather report brought to you by Specsavers. Why pay more for multifocal glasses? Should have gone to Specsavers. Christmas is around the corner and you might have already started searching for gifts, but scammers are also on the hunt. Tonight we're being warned of a seasonal boom in cybercrime, but you can fight back against the Christmas crooks. Tis the season for shopping and millions of online transactions are creating a scammer's paradise. Christmas spending in Queensland is set to jump by $13 billion on last year, matched by a 13% surge in online scams. When there's personal information that's potentially leaked publicly, we do see a lot of scams targeting people via SMS, via email. Sites for finding stolen items, potential breeding grounds for crime. Amy Roach was targeted when she tried to recover her son's bike. A fake profile reached out demanding cash. They saw, you know, we were desperate to get this bike back and decided to prey on us. We ended up paying them $150. There are opportunistic people who will um, purport to be someone that can help you recover your property. Christmas crooks are expected to be hunting both online and on the ground in droves but they can be stopped. Shoppers should stick to recognised brands, strengthen your passwords, watch for suspicious spending on your accounts, check whether information you're giving out is actually necessary, verify who's on the other end of every transaction and make sure any gifts bought online are stored in a safe place. Physical security is very important and it has been since long before we had digital security to worry about as well. To keep the silly season a safe one. Sammy Barnes, 7 News. Well, the time now, Tony, how are the skies at Shorncliffe this evening? Uh, Max, uh, the rule of TV never work with children, animals and apparently the weather. Just five minutes ago we had a great view of the full moon behind me here and there's one cloud in the sky perfectly blocking it for now. Still promising signs that most people in the southeast will get a pretty good view of the eclipse over the next few hours. Let's run through the timeline for this evening and we should start seeing a little crescent disappearing from the moon in about 10 minutes from now. Then gradually a red tinge appearing over the moon through the next hour or so before the full eclipse starts to appear from 8.16pm and lasts for about an hour and a half from them. It will be fairly dim, so I'd recommend giving your eyes a few minutes to adjust and also allow for some clear breaks in this cloud. Speaking of the cloud, plenty of it today, along with a burst of wet weather showers along the coastal stretch by late morning, more of an even spread across the region this afternoon and easing this evening. Tops of 24 for Redcliffe and the Sunshine Coast. The satellite shows that low-level cloud across eastern Queensland and New South Wales, a few showers and weak storms in that area, all fuelled by a pocket of cold air in the upper atmosphere. Tomorrow, the cold air clears away, so the showers ease back and we have a bit more sunshine on the way. Around the capitals, thunderstorms on the forecast for Darwin, Alice Springs and Adelaide, a top of 32 in the city of Churches. Melbourne warms up to a dry 29. For northern Queensland, trade winds continue to bring patchy cloud on the coast, sunny and hot inland, Mount Isa 39. Over southern districts, partly cloudy around the coast and ranges, maybe the odd shower but no significant rain. In the southeast, still the odd shower along the coastal stretch but otherwise mostly dry with more sunny breaks and a little warmer as a result. 27 in Ipswich, across the metropolitan area, tops of 25 with a possible sprinkle on the bayside. If you're keen to take the boat out, breezy, southeast winds at 15 to 25 knots on Moreton Bay. So in Brisbane, a mix of cloud and plenty of sunny breaks for your Wednesday, 15 to 26. And that warmth continues to slowly build through the next week. 27s by Friday, 29s on Saturday and Sunday. In Ipswich, hotter again, 32 and 33 over the weekend, similar early next week. Gold Coasters, no surprises, it's not as hot as that. Maximums climbing to 28 degrees. Showers returning Monday and Tuesday. And on the Sunshine Coast, a shower lingering into Thursday. Then a great looking weekend ahead with tops in the mid to high 20s. But for now, we're hoping this cloud continues to clear for the lunar eclipse. Yes, it would be good to see. All right, thank you, Tony. Now, before we go, here's a look at a special report we have for you tomorrow night. Tomorrow in 7 News. <coughs> help is at hand for mums and dads. It's so simple to do. The new free round-the-clock service for parents with young children. Having something that's free and trustworthy is such a game changer. Giving them the best start in life. 7 News, Queensland's number one. And that's all from us this Tuesday. Thanks for your company. From all the team, have a good night. Good night.